Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Tuesday's Thought for the Day. On the day of Pentecost, recorded in Acts chapter 2, Peter explains why the Holy Spirit has now been poured out upon all believers. Having spoken about the death and resurrection of Jesus, Peter now speaks about his ascension. He explains in Acts chapter 2 verse 33, exalted to the right hand of God, he has received from the Father the promised Holy Spirit and has poured out what you now see and hear. Now we can't see that Jesus is seated at God's right hand in an exalted position in heaven. We weren't one of the witnesses to the resurrection and ascension of Jesus and nor were the crowd. How could they be sure of this? But well, Peter says that the proof that Jesus has been exalted is what the crowd has just witnessed. The sound like the blowing of a violent wind. What seems to be tongues of fire resting the disciples. Who then incredibly speak in other languages they've never spoken before. And Peter says, why do you think that these things have happened? That the Spirit of God had therefore has now been given? Which well, because God has raised Jesus. He's ascended, he's exalted him to the right hand of God. And therefore Jesus has been able to give the gift of the Spirit to all believers. Now in those days, when a king was crowned, it was common for him to give gifts. But Peter says that has happened to Jesus. Jesus has been crowned as Lord and now is given the wonderful gift of the Holy Spirit to all who follow him. And Peter goes on to clinch his argument with an Old Testament quotation. He applies Psalm 110 to the ascension of Jesus. So he declares in verses 34 to 35, For David did not ascend to heaven, and yet he said, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand, until I make your enemies a footstool for your feet. David was a great king, yet his body did not survive death, and nor did he ascend to heaven. David wrote this psalm that's quoted here, Psalm 110. He was a great king of the Old Testament. But here he's speaking about the Lord God, saying to David's Lord, that is Jesus, sit at my right hand. And now Jesus is sitting at God's right hand, next to the Father in heaven, as God's exalted king. And one day Jesus will return. One day all of God's enemies would be completely subdued and defeated. Evil would be stamped out forever. That's a glorious promise and a day to long for. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that the ascended Jesus now reigns at your right hand. Help us to trust in him, even when life seems messy and the world seems chaotic. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a good Tuesday. See you tomorrow.